Hi, it's Christy again. I'm here to show you how to clean out your Young Living diffuser. This is the bamboo model. It's very nice and slim. That's why I chose this model. Um, something you notice about the inside, there is a hole um, on one of the corners. Just make sure you don't get any water or any liquid into this hole um, because that's the internal part of the machine. You don't want to put any liquid in there. So I'm gonna clean this out today. Um, the best thing to do is to clean out your diffuser each time you use it. But as you can see, I have a nice ring forming around my diffuser. Um, I've used it all week in a classroom full of flu germs. And so this has been running all week with my thieves. So I'm gonna make sure to really clean it out well today. Now this diffuser does come with a nice cleaning brush so it can really get to the bottom of the diffuser. It's nice and long. I'm gonna be using this as well as a toothbrush, a cheap toothbrush from the dentist office, just so I can really get that ultrasonic plate clean. Now. Um, the best thing to do when you clean the plastic portion of your machine is to use a mild soap and warm water like a Castile soap. Um, I have tried that on mine today and since I've let it really gunk up, um, I'm just going to surpass that right now. But if you're doing a daily clean, that might be a great way to um, clean yours. I'm just using regular alcohol, rubbing alcohol from the grocery store. Um, actually mine is from Walmart. And I'm gonna fill mine up right to that line of gunk that was starting to form on my diffuser. And I'm just gonna let it sit for a few moments um, just to start breaking that down. Now, like I said, if you clean yours every time you use it like you should, um, you're not gonna have this issue where you're gonna have to fill it all the way with rubbing alcohol and let it sit. So I'm gonna start using my toothbrush and start working around those edges. Just really kind of getting in there. I don't, I can't really tip it because I filled mine kind of far and actually some will kind of tip. So you can see it's filled pretty far. Um, I'm just going to scrub those edges really well. And as it's kind of sitting there, I'm going to switch over to my wand and really get down there and clean that ultrasonic plate, that silver plate that is in your diffuser. I'm also going to use this brush and kind of get around all the little pieces down there around the bottom since my toothbrush doesn't fit very well. So it's really nice because this wand is very long. I can get to the bottom and up the sides. And then my toothbrush really helps just to scrub the side where that ring is forming. Um, now, something I did do is I used Castile soap to scrub my lid because that lid after diffusing things and all that vapor is coming out um, it, it was getting a little bit dusty and considering I'm touching it with all these flu germs I went ahead and, and cleaned that as well so I scrubbed that pretty well I'm still gonna have that ring and I'm gonna go ahead and dump this out make sure that you're dumping it out where that oil or not the oil I'm sorry your liquid is not going into that hole as you can see I have that hole at the top um, I'm gonna give it one little last scrub And then I'm going to fill it up with water, kind of swish it around, and then dump it again just to get the alcohol off. Make sure you don't get any in that hole, which is going to get into your um, internal part of your machine. And rinse it off one more time. Oops. And then I'm just going to let that dry. And you can rub it out with a paper towel, which I'll do in a second. I'm going to go ahead and wash this to show you how I wash it. It's really quick and easy. Um, I'm just going to get it wet. I have homemade Castile soap. Um, I'm just reusing a bottle. And so I'm going to do a couple of squirts of that Castile soap on here. I'm just going to scrub away. Scrub all over the inside. Around the top. Around the edge. Uh, basically, I'm just sanitizing this top. It wasn't really dirty, but I just wanted to get all the dust off of it, any germs that might be on there. So I'm just scrubbing it well. And then I'll just rinse it off. I'm gonna take, take a paper towel, just wipe it down. Um, mostly all of the dust has come off of it. That's clean. I'm gonna take my diffuser. I'm also gonna wipe the inside of that. Something else you can do, you can take your paper towel and shove it right in there. 
and then I can use the other side of my stick and I can kind of just wipe it out really well. This actually helped get a lot of the stuff off versus just scrubbing it with a toothbrush or this stick. So I'm just scrubbing it out and wiping it down. Now something you can do, if you do get a teeny bit of water in here, you think you might have splashed some water. Um, I have thought that I've gotten water here in the past. I just basically tip it upside down and let it sit on a paper towel or a regular towel. Um, just so that anything that might have gotten in there can just have a chance to drip out and let gravity pull it out. Um, now, I am fortunate that I don't think that anything that I've splashed has damaged my machine at all. But that was the basics of cleaning it. Make sure that you do at least try to wipe it out um, every once in a while. If not each time that you use it, that would be your best sort of maintenance clean for this is just every time you use it just wipe it out and that will help it last longer. I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks.